While the construction of a new high-rise draws a lot of attention, demolitions can be far more dramatic, especially in large, densely populated cities. So let's have a look at the world's tallest demolitions. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this. And be sure to watch this video till the end, therefore anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified so that you won't miss out on interesting videos from us. Let's get started without further ado. Landmark Tower in Texas, there was also the Landmark Tower, a 380-foot, 116-meter tall tower in Fort Worth. When it was originally opened to the public in 1957, it was the city's tallest tower. At the top of the structure was the largest spinning digital clock in the world. The tower was originally entirely occupied, but by the conclusion of its 30-year lifespan, it was completely abandoned. It was decided to demolish the structure after it was damaged by a tornado in March of 2000 and sustained considerable damage. Midwest Wrecking Company evacuated 15 blocks of the city in 2006 to undertake the implosion. The landmark tower was brought down in just a few minutes with the help of over 360 pounds of explosives. In 2016, the property was examined to construct a new parking garage in the vicinity. Building in Xi'an City the Golden Flower Building, which stood 118 meters tall, was demolished in Xi'an City, China in November 2015. It was the nation's tallest tower to be dismantled. The high-rise structure was erected in 1996, but had not been used for decades while being legally owned by a Jinhua Pharmaceutical Factory. It appeared that attempting to renovate the tower would be too costly. Therefore, China ultimately chose to contract the Pengcheng Explosion Company to demolish it. To lessen the impact of the explosion, the business began by constructing a 13-foot deep trench around the perimeter. The edifice came crashing into bits thanks to 1.4 tons of dynamite and 12,000 detonators. While the destruction was rapid, cleaning up the 66-foot high debris heaps took more than 70 days. After the area was cleared, work on a new business complex with retail and residential spaces began right away. Power Station Westerholt the chimney of the power station Westerholt was the highest controlled building ever demolished, standing at 337 meters, or 1,105 feet. There have been many megatall chimney demolitions that are taller than the previous 165 meter high Mina Plaza, but Westerholt was the tallest. The chimney was built in Germany in 1981. When the power station was shut down in 2005, the chimney met an untimely end a year later. The structure was destroyed on two levels, with one explosion towards the bottom and one in the middle. There were so many people there to see the explosion and take pictures that the demolition team was unable to finish on time. The chimney was soon reduced to a massive pile of debris. Brayton Point Power Station Although not exactly a building, the demolition of the Brayton Point Power Station was spectacular. Somerset, Massachusetts, coal power plant first opened in the 1960s and remained operational until May of 2017. Years after the plant shuttered, the facility's owner chose to dismantle two of its cooling towers in 2019. The explosion set a global record for the tallest cooling towers ever blown up, with each structure towering 500 feet. These towers are only a few feet taller than the cooling tower at the Trojan nuclear power plant, which was the first to be dismantled in 2006. People came from all across New England to see the demolition of the Brayton Point Power Station. The crew continued to demolish various components of the power station over the next few months. All of the scrap metal ignited a series of fires days later, adding to the madness of the demolitions. Mina Plaza The Mina Plaza was the highest structure to be raised, although construction was never completed. The plaza featured four independent towers that stood 165 meters in the air. Developers began construction on the Mina Plaza in 2007, but ceased just a few years later, in 2012, owing to a disagreement with the owners. Despite plans to begin construction in 2014, the building was abandoned due to financial concerns. The capital's government plan to demolish the buildings in 2020 not only was it deemed an eyesore, but its demolition was part of a larger plan to revitalize Mina Zayed's port. The demolition team intended to ensure that no one in the United Arab Emirates capital of Abu Dhabi was affected by the implosion of the Mina Plaza. They studied the structure and its surroundings to ensure the safest demolition possible. The skyscrapers were brought down by 13,000 pounds of plastic explosives. Three of the buildings collapsed first, but within 10 seconds, all four had collapsed into massive mounds of wreckage. Which of these demolitions were your favorites? Let us know in the comments section down below. 
With that being said, that's all for today. Thank you for spending some time with us. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button, the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. Till next time.